directories are a really simple way to pull in lots of content from your computer into Moodle all in one go. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, I'm going to minimize my page. And this here is a folder that has four files in it. So ordinarily, you'd import these one at a time. But um, I'm going to show you another way of doing that, and that is using the zip function um, of Windows. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to send to compressed zip folder. What that's done now is it's made a duplicate copy of these files and it's just zipped them or compressed them. What that allows you to do is to import that all in one go into Moodle so that whole folder will come in. So I'm going to go back to, back to my Moodle page and uh, click on files and I'm just going to click on upload a file and browse and I'm looking for the zipped folder here so I'm just going to click on that and click open and upload this file so that's now being copied across into Moodle and you can see here that it's got a little zip icon here and the word zip so um, I'm just going to unzip that and to do that I just click here so that's now unzipped and OK. And you can see now that the, the eSafety folder with all the files is here. And that's all come in in one go. So for housekeeping reasons, I'm just going to delete this. Uh, so I'm just going to, I've just clicked on it and then click on delete completely. OK. So the, the zip file is gone, but because we've unzipped it, and we've got everything that we want. We just got rid of that for um, housekeeping purposes. So I'm now going to go back to my course page and I'm going to turn editing on. And here I can select display a directory. And when I do that, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it e safety. And this is something that you may not have seen before. Here it's saying display directory. And we are looking for one called eSafety. That's the folder that we've just imported. And then I'm going to click on save and return to, to course. And when I do that, ah, right, I can see for some reason this has become, um, this is grayed out. That means that you can see it as a member of staff, but students can't. I'm going to click back on the pencil and I'm going to change this visible hide to show. So now I can go back and save and return to course. Okay, I can be confident that students and staff will see that now. And just so we can see what the student will see, I'm going to go to the student mode. The student will see this folder here. They'll simply click on that and they'll be able to access any of these files that are within that folder.